Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, ShadowFury333, and we got a couple things to point out. One, my attack rating right now on the longsword is 333. It's a silly thing to point out, but I just noticed that. That's what the attack rating is. Which is totally pointless, but it happens to match my username, num my handle's number, so uh -huh. I find that mildly amusing. I did. Uh -huh. Nope. Okay. What do we have here? White Dragon Breath. Emit Crystal Breath. Seath the Scaleless. Well, obviously Seath was involved somehow. Sorcery of the Deluded Consumed King Osiris. Emits Crystal Breath of Seath the Scaleless. Crystal Breath has piercing qualities. Seath's research seemed to strike a chord with Old Big Hat, who, in his mad, disrobed state, made divine works such as this, his own. Osiris was no doubt edified by this. Huh. And this is the Moonlight Greatsword? Yep. Legendary dragon weapon associated with Seath the Pale Drake. Charged strong attack to limit... Charged strong attack to his limit to unleash Moonlight Wave. Osiris, the consumed king, was infatuated with the search for Moonlight, but in the end it never revealed itself to him. The skill is Moonlight Vortex, so you draw the sword back and it's just... Big swing of energy. And it requires an absurd amount of intelligence. I am not going to have this character wield this ever. I can't see that happening. I'm really curious if the Moonlight effect happens if you don't have the intelligence requirement, though. I kind of doubt it. I don't know if I want to spend 10,000 souls to find out. But... Oh, did I not read this? I did, yeah. Well, actually, I do want to spend 10,000 souls to find out, because quite frankly, 10,000 souls is pretty easy to come by. So... Yeah. I want to know. Truth. I must know. Is this a thing I can do? Yeah, I know. Oops. What? No, it, it's... Yeah, I... Oh, wait, it's weapon skill. No. I would need loads more intelligence. Well, I got pale tongues, but nah. There's no real reason to do that. The sword is probably not that great. I mean, I have swords I like, so it's not a big deal. I was just really curious if I could use that without the intelligence. <sighs> oh well. Be kind of cool to have a sword beam, but I don't. Well, I do. The Storm Ruler sword kind of has that. Anyway, that's kind of irrelevant, so... Can't really level up at this point without using up souls I already have. Well, okay, I'm going to deal with all the business in Firelink Shrine, and then I guess i really curious what's going on beyond Osiris. I want to know what's there. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. And... Well, looks a lot like the opening to the Sunken King DLC in Dark Souls 2. Looks a lot like that. But let's keep going. What the heck? Alright, so it's a... Oh, wait a sec. Is it? I don't know, that looked like a lizard... A lizard soldier from Sen's Fortress. Wait a sec, this is the cemetery, isn't it? All right, first off, we got a thing. Path of the Dragon. Where'd it go? Hmm? Oh, it's a covenant. What am I thinking? No, it's not. What the heck was it? Oh, yeah, I never read these out either. But now's not the time for armor that I picked up. It's some eastern land thing. Um, points out that the late King Osiris was obsessed with dragons to the extent that later we know as a consumed king and countless assassins were and sent to kill him, which all failed. Except me, who succeeded eventually. Alright. Where the heck... What is that? Hang on. Is it a gesture? 
It is. Ah, nice. Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do with this. There's an area at the profaned... No, well, near the profane capital. And that... Use the... You use that gesture, and I don't know what. Beat, but there was a gesture. Or a thing related to a gesture. I think this is a normal chest. Always pays to check. Nice, nice scale. But yeah, that gesture has a place that needs to be used. Also, that area looks a lot like the opening of the Cemetery of Ash. That That's weird. And I don't even know what's going on here. And by looks similar to, I mean, what the heck, we're back in the Cemetery of Ash. Sort of. No, this is pretty Cemetery of Ash. What? There's just no skybox. Well, that's basically the start of the whole thing. Oops, what? Get out of the way. I'm guessing there's something special here, but I can't figure it out because there's a bunch of birds that are trying to kill me. I know I'm a crossbow bolt loaded. Ah. If you just stop for one second, I could kill you. See, your friend knows what's up. And by what's up, I mean doing the things that I like. You, on the other hand, were much more recalcitrant. So, what's there at this copy of? My starting location. Ashen Estes Ring. Let's see. Unless this is supposed to be a different time or something. Gray crystalline ring crafted from shards increases FP or store by the Ashenestus flask. Once a treasure brought before Lothric's queen, she had it enshrined in the cemetery of untended graves, so that one day an unkindled might profit from its use. Well, that's nice. Granted, I have more than enough FP. My Ashenestus recovers all of it, but thank you. I'm not going to look at Gift Horse in the Mouth in this one. And this is once again another... Another broken fountain at the beginning. And, I mean, this is the Cemetery of Ash. Just with those Corvids. Or just generally tougher monsters. Wow. I don't want to put my serious hat on. Don't make me put my serious hat on. A lot of bleeding here. A lot of Titanite shards. Nice. All right, well, there were dogs in the original. Well, actually, the dogs were later on in Firelink Shrine, which means that this is probably leading to... Oh, wait. Like, let's be intelligent about this, because there's enemies that are probably mirroring their positions of the rather useless enemies that are in the Cemetery of Ash. So I'm going to assume that there's another Titanite lizard all the way over there, or something possibly worse. And that there's a couple more of these annoying people. Oh no, that's where I started in. Okay, that's the bonfire, so no worries there. Maybe some of those hanging out here. There's another couple of dogs. The bigger one is counterintuitively weaker, which is interesting. But irrelevant, because they're both dead. Oh crap! Oh no! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't get out of here. I can't. Stupid. Oh, some of which rolls would go past enemies. You're stuck in spots like that. You cannot get out of there. I mean, maybe I could just slash my way out, but I feel like I just get hit. I also gotta remember not to stop saying I'm dead. That seems to be a good way to die. <sighs> well, that's annoying. Thankfully, I had no souls, really, that I had to worry about, so not a big deal. Still annoying. 
Yeah, all the souls in this area. Alright, so a lot of enemies in the Cemetery of Ash are replaced with dogs now. I must keep that in mind. Because obviously I know where the Cemetery of Ash enemy placements are, but these dogs are new. See, see what I mean? Dogs are too fast for me. What? You poised through that? Oh, come on! There are too many walls here. Whatever. I'm just gonna... I guess I have to cut everything until I get past whatever's here. Why is this being so hard to me? All right, made it through that, finally. I don't see why that was so difficult. Whatever, what's past here? Is it another Titanite Lizard? No, it's two. And something's gone wrong with the graphics. Actually, these are about the same strength of the Titan Lizards I originally fought, so... Well, at least it's relatively easy if you don't trigger both. Oh, wait, I can stab you, I can stab you! Or not. Ow! <sighs> and another couple Titanite scales. Okay. So, this is totally the Cemetery of Ash. I mean, that's been made clear enough. But it's like, when or where, or do we change alternate universes? I mean, time is established to be convoluted as an excuse to, you know, make the whole co-op system make sense. And that's something that's established as a thing in the Dark Souls universe. Like, time does not necessarily flow linearly. What's my current health? That's eh, not terrible, but it's probably deep protection. But yeah, time is established to be a bit weird. So, this could be in the past, this could be in the future. I'm thinking past, because things tend to decay pretty linearly in the Dark Souls universe. And this seems much more decayed. For one thing, the moon isn't there. Or sun, or any source of light. Is there a bonfire up here? Because it's got a lot of salt. No, there's not. Oh, well, more of these guys. <laughs> if I only had a bonfire. No kidding. That'd be a great place for one. Oh, this is shaped a bit differently. Okay. I can't trivially do that. 
can get rid of you. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, come on! That didn't kill you? I really need you. Ah! Quit hitting me! Give me a sec! Come on! We're all friends here, right? Except that we aren't not, but, you know, other than that. What? Would you guys die? Thank you. That deep protection gives me extra attack as well, so there's a reason I keep using it. That and, of course, the defense, which I clearly need a lot of because I don't have a huge amount of health. And I don't want to use more embers. What's behind me? Ow! Well, nothing relevant. Oh, right, this... Actually, wait, this is different. The spot I'm thinking of is further down. The spot I'm thinking of is actually... Oh, there was something behind me. Yeah, it's where these guys are coming from. That's the spot I'm thinking of. Okay. Is there anything over here, or is this a waste of time? This is a waste of time for completeness' sake. Okay. Well, got more to explore. I feel like this is what Cemetery of Ash is going to be like New Game Plus in terms of enemy strength. Just because these enemies feel a touch stronger, like NG Plus stronger, but not much stronger. Oh. Let's try it anyway. Oh. Oh, wait, I have to go to the... Oh, I did it! I did it first try! Yes! Ow! You... That was rude. And painful, but mostly rude. I could probably get my regular SS back more. Ow! Oh, right, that's the same crossbows before. All right, that's fair. I was wondering where that trick would be. Uh, where's my Estes? Where's, there's the Estes. Okay. Too many things in this inventory system. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I can't think. I haven't even figured out where that next crossbow is coming from. Quit hitting me! Uh, I'm hurrying. I'm clearly not in the mood. Like, I am hurrying way too much to this area, I can tell. I just... I'm super excited about whatever's next that I can't wait to, to figure it out, and then I'm getting myself killed because I'm hurrying. Oh, would you stop hitting me? Seriously, you need to stop. There you go. That's how you do it. Or don't, as the case may be. <sighs> Is there another boss through here? No, it's... Well, maybe. There's actually no indication of that. All right, let's see what's through here. Might be another. Yep, you next gun deer again. Wait, why am I using this? Ow! Wait, what? Well, I'm gonna say past. Oh, come on! I can't die here. I have too many souls to... Ah, crap. Would you stop hitting me? I know it's bad to try to get out of the way of combat, but I'm getting hit too hard. Ah, if I knew this was here, I would have probably gone in serious mode. Oh. 
Okay, good. I missed the combo. Or dodged the combo, rather. How many attacks do you have? Just give it a rest for... Ah, come on. Great. That's 25k souls I'm never going to get back. I cannot reliably get back here, so yeah. Great. Ha! Off the cliff you go! And we now return to your regularly scheduled death montage.
Every time I say regularly scheduled death montage, except maybe once, that was the last time I died. <sighs> Excuse me for a moment while my heart rate restabilizes. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and out. Well, it worked a lot better than the last couple times. That charging attack... Oh, man. That's the one thing I found really annoying. The rest of this boss fight, it's like, okay. The tracking I found a little bit annoying because... For anyone who's not played Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2's enemies had... Ridiculous tracking. Black Knight Glaive. Okay. Oh. Could this be a secret? Well, we'll check out in a sec. But before I do that, I'm going to obviously go and use these souls. However, there was another thing here, wasn't there? No, that was just a bright thing. But yeah, so the Dark Souls 2 enemies all tracked ridiculous, or a lot of them tracked ridiculously well. Like, you'd roll around them and they'd spin around, sometimes like they were on a turntable. Yudex Gun Deer kind of feels like that, as does Champion Gun Deer. And the most annoying part was the charge attack, where it was like, charge, charge, charge. That last fight, it's not really noticeable because I was off and out of the way. It didn't hit me too often. But yeah, it's like it hits and then there's a swing. There's a room to dodge between the hits and the swing, but it feels kind of weird. Anyway, I'm gonna just use up these souls and we'll be back to check out the secret area. Oh wait, I lied! We're not going to be doing that. Because there's actually a lot of story time to do. And actually I'm going to end the episode. So, story time, then episode end, and then next time we'll check out the secret areas. So first off, uh -huh. so what does this version of Gundar give me? Gives me Prisoner's Chain! It's a ring. Portion of a steel chain used to restrain Gundir. Gain vigor, endurance, and vitality, but take extra damage. A prisoner is one who has staked everything on a belief, or proclivity most apparent in the greatest of champions. Ooh! Wait, gain vigor, but take extra damage? I mean... That... Like... That's very curious. Because, of course, vigor increases your health. But... This is a tough call. And the halberd, Gundir's halberd. Halberd of Gundir the champion received when he was charged with his duty. This old cast iron halberd has the power to break poise and is said to never crumble, seeming to suggest that Gundir was fated to his eternal service from the beginning. And the skill is the charge I was talking about, which hits and then you can dodge right afterwards. Whew. All right, well that, man, this ring is really tempting. And you know what, I might as well. Like, who knows, it might actually be useful. The halberd, I don't plan to use. This is not a build I intend to use halberds on. But, yeah, a ring that improves vi vigor and vitality. That's... Ah. That's something to talk about or think about. Treat the firekeeper not... Oh, well, I wasn't planning to. I like the firekeeper. I have no reason to dislike the firekeeper. She's my Welcome friend. Husband. Ashen one has the and, well, you got anything else to say. Uh, Alright, well, so... It looks like... That's about... Oh, right, no, that's not about it. There's actually a few more things, because we picked up some armor, I think. Actually, a few, few things. There are some enemies that were on the way. Rotting Tattered Robe, attire of the Grave Wardens at the Cathedral of the Deep. Grave Wardens were tasked with disposing of the ever-rising corpses that plagued the Cathedral. Their clothes are utterly putrid, drenched in the blood and mucilage of their undertaking. Now, wait, Cathedral Night Armor I've already read out. What was the... Thing. I gotta put some of this stuff away. Was it a hat? No. Was it a weapon? Yes, it was. A Black Knight Glaive. Glaive of the Black Knights who wander the lands, used to face chaos demons. The unique attack of this glaive greatly reduces enemy poise, reflecting the tremendous size of the enemies that the knights have fearlessly faced. 
All right. And the claws are... I mentioned the assassins a couple episodes ago for Osiris, and that's... Yeah, about all the stuff, new stuff. All right, so... At this point, as far as I can tell, there is no additional story time to worry about. So, I will end the episode here, and see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. And yeah, we got past another version of Gundir's. Yeah, that was an annoying fight. Except the last, the last couple times. That was actually, like, I got it. I got it by then. Always sleep well. And then do stuff.